In this video, you will learn how to create a Sunfall backup policy and restore virtual machine to specific backup. In this example, you will define local storage and the backup repositories. It will be used to store virtual machine backups. So, let's log into HCI. Let's go to system. Virtual machine backup and recovery. Then you can see the page. Let's go to backup repositories. From here, you can add a new one and and local storage. Then you select a, a empty storage. You will define the size of the of this pool. Then click OK. It will take around 30 seconds to 1 minute. Repository is here. The limit is data 2. So let's start to create a new Sunfall backup policy. First of all, you need to make sure the policy is disabled status or enabled. If it show you disable, it means already enabled. Then you click and the new policy. From here, you can select weekly, daily, and narrowly. For the for the POC, let's select narrowly. You can select uh, one hour and uh, keep the backups for two days. Then next, you can select one server, any server, if you want. Then next, click OK. From here, you can select which repository you want to store to it. Then select date 2. And also, you can add a new Windows Sherry file, feeder, Let's next. Give the policy name Windows Server. Then next. Then click OK. So far, the Backup policy already done. For recover the virtual machines, let's go to some for backups. Select the group. You can see right now already one virtual machine have backups. Click recover. You will get two options: create a new one or overwrite the existing one. For testing, we we'll select the create, create a new one. For, then click next. You can select the any time of the backups because the policy is selected um, based on the per hour. So let's select the first one. Then select the location, the groups and the storage and also the running load click ok then click ok you need to input the, uh, the, the password then click ok right now all the configuration already done the next step is just to go to the computer page to check the virtual machine whether it be created. Let's go to training. You can see from here one little virtual machine already be created. Because it's a new virtual machine, so 
depends on the data. Right now, it have around 40 GB, so it needs some time. Let's wait it. After waiting around 10 minutes, it finished. Let's close it. Then click Cancel. Input the password of system. You can see we got a new system. Thank you for watching. If you need further details, you can visit http colon slash slash community.sanford.com to access our complete technical resource.